morning, everyone. Welcome to stretching. Today we have 30 minutes of seated stretching. So when you are ready, please grab a chair or something comfortable to sit on. You will need a water bottle and your cell. So before we begin, a couple of reminders and announcements regarding the wellness department. Check one, two. We have fitness assessments going on throughout the month of January. So if you have not signed up already, please do so. The sign up sheets are located outside of Abby's office as well as Sarah and I's office. We also have a wellness program going on this month. So if you're interested in participating, you can let me know and I can get you signed up. The wellness program is located outside of the strength and cardio room on the glass wall. So those are the announcements that I have. I hope you all are having a great week and let's go ahead and get started with the stretching. On a deep breath, bring your arms in, up and over your head. Exhale, release down. Repeat this once more. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, release down. Great job. Bring your hands to the tops of your thighs. Sit comfortably in your chair. Bring your feet flat to the floor. On an inhale, tuck your chin into your chest and ground to your spine. On an exhale, press through your fingertips, grip down on the tops of your knees, arch your back, and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, cat pose. Draw your navel into your spine. Exhale, cow pose. Continue this movement back and forth using your breath to help guide you as you move your spine through flexion and extension. With this particular stretch, I like to reach my hand across the midline as I'm in cat pose. And you can do this on both sides. And then in cow pose, as I reach up, I like to move my head and really stretch through my neck muscles. Take what option and variation feels best. If neither of those move in your body, just continue through your cats and your cows. Good, a couple more here. Soften through your eyes. you find a spot that's a little sticky or tight, maybe stop and pause for a moment. So let's do one more cat to cow. Exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Great job. Let's begin with our head, neck, and shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest. Sway your head from side to side. Maintain an upright posture so that you are feeling the benefits of the stretch through your neck and all the way back down through your upper back and maybe into the side of your arm or the front of your head. Good. Begin to change this movement in your neck from side to side into a complete circle. Using your chin to help create the circle. Again, lift your shoulders up and roll them down your back. Good, keep breathing. All right, let's switch directions, please. And again, for today's seated stretching, you can take a variation that feels best in your body. So if you're able to make your way onto the floor, go ahead and do that. If you feel 
more comfortable in your chair. That is great as well. All right, begin to find a neutral spine in your neck. Let's look up towards the ceiling and down towards the ground. Looking up. Continue to breathe. As you bring your chin up towards the ceiling, lift the corners of your mouth. Let it out to drop your chin. Once more, inhale, look up nice and high. Exhale, release your chin too. Great job, bring your gaze forward. Roll your shoulders up and back. Nice little bit of circumduction or some rotation rather in your shoulders. If it feels best to take one arm or excuse me, one shoulder at a time, please do so. If not, you can always move both at the same time. Now notice my hands are moving as a result of my shoulders. Not just that my hands are moving back and forth, but the important thing here to focus on is your shoulders moving up, back, and down. So now we have to switch the direction. So if you were going backwards, now please go forwards. Nice first step. Again, always the option to take this one shoulder at a time. That way you can get a little bit of rotation from spine and your torso. Great job. Relax your shoulders. Kind of shake it out. Let it all out. Come back to your seated upright position. Reach your arm out to the side. Lift your palm up towards the ceiling and drop your opposite ear down towards your shoulder. Breathe in. Look up a little more. Exhale. Relax your shoulders down. Beautiful. Every inhale, see if you can lift your chin further away from your chest. And with every exhale, relax. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Breathe. Switch to the opposite side. Bring your arm out to the side. Lift your palm up towards the ceiling. Drop your elbow to your Excuse me, drop your ear to your shoulder. Relax your shoulders down and back. Take a breath in, reach your hand a little bit further out, look up a little more, and exhale, allow everything to relax. And continue to breathe. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it out and relax. Hands back to the tops of your thighs. For this next one here, reach your arms forward. Big stretch. Wiggle your fingertips. And on an exhale, squeeze and pull your hands towards your armpits. And squeeze your elbows towards your spine. Inhale, reach forward. Find a little curve in your spine. Exhale, pull and press. Inhale, reach forward, find a little curve in your spine. Exhale, pull. Just like that cat and cow we did at the very beginning here of stretch. That's the movement you want to copycat in your spine at this time. Add your arms to help emphasize the stretch. Continue to breathe with each movement. Three more. Inhale, big reach, big pull. Exhale, bring everything forward. One more. Inhale, reach, pull, and lift. Exhale, release, round and down. Good, relax everything down onto the tops of your thighs. Lift your palms up at this time and take a moment to just focus on your breath and be in the present. We've started to build up a little blood flow. We've started to build up a little heat. 
our path is definitely helping us to do both of those. Close your eyes, relax your knees, and take a breath in and exhale, release. Once more, inhale, become aware of your present self. Exhale. Good. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers open or bring your gaze back. And inhale, reach your arms, sweep them up overhead. Exhale, bend to the side. Lift up through your side body. Reach your arms up and pull your legs up back away from your ears. Take a breath and come back to center. Reach your arms up overhead. Relax your shoulders down. Exhale, side bend, opposite direction. Roll your shoulder up and back. And length through your side body and bring your chin away from your chest. Exhale. Inhale. Reach your arms up so high. Relax your shoulders down. Take a breath in. Internally rotate your hips. Exhale. Drop your elbows. Look up through your chest. Let your lower down. Inhale. Reach your arms up back to our side bend. Exhale. Side bend. Inhale. Reach your arms up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, drop your elbows to a 90 degree bend. Squeeze them towards your spine in whatever direction you would like. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, release them down. There you go, reach your arms out in front of you. Take a breath in and exhale, gentle side twist. Take the side bend that suits. In your twist, there's no need to push. Try to relax your upper body. Bring your breath into your belly. And with every inhale, maybe you lift up a little higher in your posture. With every exhale, when you inch from your hands, complete the first twist. Take a breath in. Unravel your twist, reach your arms forward, exhale, twist to the opposite side. Again, gentle twist, no need to push it here. On your breath in, sit up tall. Exhale, relax and twist. A little more if you need it. Oftentimes, the more you twist, we lose our breath. Back to your breath. Take an inhale, unravel your twist, reach your arms forward, and exhale, release them down onto the tops of your thighs. We begin to move into abdominal circumduction. So we'll create a circle using our abdomen. So on an inhale, begin to lean forward, do a nice, big, juicy circle. I like to widen my knees at this time and press down into my knees as I move my body through this circle for a moment. I find a spot that's a little tight, pause, allow it to melt nicely. Very good, everyone. Continue to lean. Maybe you might get your hips involved, your upper body. Distraction. Here we go. Go the opposite way. Again, move in a um, pattern or pace that feels best to your body today. There's no right or wrong here. <laughs> Just have fun. Good job. Take a deep breath in. Bring your circle back to the start. Again, take a minute just to shake everything out, let it go. Awesome. Switch forward in your seat, please. Come up more towards, excuse me, the edge of your seat. Bring your hands down at your sides and take a breath in. Give me your best posture. Exhale, side bend. Reach your fingertips down towards. Round, keep your chest lifted and back, winding your shoulders over your hips, and then inhale, come back to center. You are off on your own, moving at your own pace from side to side. The goal here is to find.
and then to stretch through your side body as well as into your lower back. One more each side, please. Great job. Come up to a nice tall seat. Raise your arms up over your head and give yourself a big old bear hug. Good. Maybe from here, twist gently from side to side if that feels good. If not, just hold your bear hug. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, bear hug, opposite arm comes to the top. Again, maybe take a little twist from side to side, or another option is to lift your elbows up away from your chest. Wherever you are at, continue to breathe. Good, and inhale, release and reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, drop one arm down to pat yourself on the back. For a tricep stretch. Always an option to take your opposite hand and to support your tricep, or you can always maybe keep your hand down. Bring your chin up and away from your head. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, reach your arm up. Take a couple of wrist circles. Move your fingers. Let the blood flow from your fingers. Down to your heart. Good. Reach up nice and high and exhale. Release down. Switch to the opposite side. Inhale. Reach your arm up so high. Exhale. Pat yourself on the back. Take your opposite hand to support your tricep if you need it or if you can just release your hand. Big breath in. Exhale. Let it out. Inhale. Reach your arm up so high. Take a little movement similar to what you did on the first side. Reach up high and release down. Reach your arm out in front of you. Bring it across your body and capture your elbow with your opposite hand. From here, relax the twist down. Take any movement or no movement at all. Whatever feels best for your wrist and your hand. Take a big breath. Let it out. Switch to the opposite side, please. Inhale, reach your arm out. Cross it over your body. Take your opposite hand to capture your elbow or forearm. Reach as far as you can and relax. Take similar movements you did on the first side. Big breath in. Reach a little further. Exhale, release down. Lovely. All right, let's move back to our for our waist and our hips. So this next one here, we can switch back in your chair just a tad. Very good. All right, release, or excuse me, extend your leg long. And begin to take a small circular motion through your hip joint. Now this doesn't need to be anything that creates a lot of burning or um, Overexertion in your quad. So you can keep your thigh in contact with your chair. It's just a nice little movement just to give your hips some range of motion. Very good. If you need a break, you can set your foot down, shake it out a little bit, and then when you are ready, extend your leg out again and go the opposite direction. I'm going to grab a sip of water here, but you keep on going. Good. Very good. When you are ready, you can release. Let it down and shake it up. We'll switch to the opposite side, please. Oops. Apologize. There we go. Reach your leg forward. And then begin to move into a circular motion. Waking up through your hip joint. Of course, your quads will begin to feel it. So if you need to have set your foot down, that is fine. Shake it up and come back to it. All right, release down, take a little ankle movement or whatever you did on the first side, and then let's switch. Reach up and go the opposite direction than you were before. Okay, good. Continue to have a nice posture, strong core, lifted chest. Very good. Release down, and we'll move into our hip stretch. Keep the two back up in your chair, please. Bring all feet, bring both feet to the floor. Lift your foot up and bring your ankle to the top. Very nice and tall. Keep it in your core stretch. Big breath in. Flex your toes and exhale. Hinge at your waist, your hips. You can find a stretch. 
stretch through your hip and through your glute. This is a good time to just pause and come back to your present mind and your body, just noticing the sensations in your body, how you're feeling, what you're thinking. You may close your eyes or soften. A big breath in, see if you can't lift up more through your chest, and then on the exhale, hinge just a little bit further. There we go. Good. Take a breath in, sit up nice and tall. Shake out your foot and your ankle, and then you can bring your foot down to the ground. All right, and bring your opposite ankle to the top of your knee, please. Again, inhale, flex your toes to protect your knee joint. I also like to place these hands here just for an additional protection. Sit up tall and then hinge forward. Come back to your breath. Just now this is an uncomfortable stretch, so come back to your breath. Always the option to cross your legs down at your feet and your ankles if you'd rather. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hinge a little more. There we go. Good. Now on your next inhale, you can sit up. Begin to move your ankle and your foot around and then release down. We're jumping on to our hip flexors. Turn to the side of your chair. Bring your outer leg and your knee down towards the ground. Okay, so we want about a 90 degree bend here and a 90 degree bend here. Lift up and sit tall for a deepened stretch if you need it. If maybe you don't feel this as deep as you would like, uh, reach your arms up overhead and then take a nice gentle side bend. Okay, make sure the chair that you are seated in is sturdy and maybe you hold on to the armrest or a backrest. Be here for two more breaths. And let it out. Free jump and release your arm. Bring your leg up and switch direction. Again, take your outer knee down towards the ground. Aim to find a 90 degree bend in your front and your back knee on an inhale if you choose. Reach your arm up overhead for a deep stretch. Your knee does not need to touch carpet, the ground. Make sure that it is hovering above the floor. Two more breaths here. Take a big breath in. And exhale, let it out to the knees. You can wiggle around, sit forward in your chair. Get some additional hip movements, maybe just sway from side to side. And on your next inhale, extend one leg long out in front of you. Your heel is down, toe is pointed up. Sit tall in your chair and exhale, reach down towards your knee, shin, or if you're able, your foot. Good. Keep breathing here and again, keep your chin lifted and elevated. Helps to prevent any lightheadedness or dizziness. Keep breathing. Take a big breath in and exhale, let it out. Good. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Repeat this stretch on the opposite side. Reach your leg out long, heel down, toes up, sit up tall, and reach down your leg. Find if there's just a little bit of a cold, no heat. Again, come back, take a breath. Take a big breath in. Let it out. Inhale, sit up nice and tall in your chair. You can release and bring your feet back. Both flush with the floor. Find a nice 
strong posture. You get the best posture, thus far throughout stretching the neck. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. At this time, you can also scooch back in your chair a little bit if you'd like. Um, but don't depend on the backrest to get all slumpy and slouchy. Make sure you're still sitting in comfort. All right, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Let's just come back to our deep breathing. Deep breathing. Relax your upper body into your jaw. Soften your gaze if you'd like at this time. And with one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, I want you to focus on your breath. Breathing into your diaphragm or breathing into your belly, as well as how that then affects your heart rate. So the longer and the deeper breaths that we take, the slower or steady heart rate we will have. Take these next couple moments to focus on that. Put your hands up on your belly, feel it um, expand and soften. I will bring you out of this breathing exercise in just a moment. For now, relax and enjoy. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers. Feel the rhythm, feel the beat on your belly and your chest. Then you can slowly make your movement a little bit bigger. Maybe taking your entire palm, your fingertips the width of your skin. Good. And when you're ready, you're going to knees come completely and place them onto the tops of your thighs. On your next inhale, sweep your arms down and then up. And exhale, go all the way back down, keeping your chin lifted. Inhale, reach up high. And exhale, release down. Last one, make it your biggest breath so far today. And exhale, release. Thank you so much for joining me today for a little bit of yoga and stretching. I hope you all have a lovely day.